Now, the first question here, distinguish between a vector and a scalar. It's a pretty standard vector scalar question. So, okay. So the difference is here, um, a vector, a vector has both size, or I should say, my teacher used to say size, but it's magnitude and direction. But a scalar has only magnitude. But a scalar has only magnitude. So that's the difference. The next question is an experiment to find the, the sum of two vectors. You'll, uh, you'll find this in your physics book. I found, uh, I found a book online. Gill Books has a solution book. And they have a nice looking uh, example of what a solution in the exam would look like to such a question. So like, um, I'll just paste it here for the moment. Using three Newton balances, um, that would be three marks. And then the procedure is to adjust the system until it's at rest. That is until each one of these are, are balanced. And then the observation is the vector sum of the two forces uh, is equal to the third force. So that's three, three, four, ten marks. Uh, well, actually, no, this one's a 16 mark, but, sorry, because that's six, what's that, six, six, four, yeah. Newton balance or three weights joined by a string or joined over pulleys, adjust until the system's at rest, Re read each force or Newton balance, vector sum of the two forces equal to uh, the third force. So that marks doesn't quite match up with the question, because the question is a 10 mark question, but I'm thinking... In the marking scheme, when it's released, it'll probably be three, three, four. That's what I'm thinking. So, oh, actually, that ten marks is for both part one and part two. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not actually sure. Maybe it'll be. Could it be one, three, three, three? I don't know. Okay. Well, anyways, let's have a look at the next part. Um. An object is released with initial velocity of 150 at an angle of 20 degrees to the horizontal. So that's 150 meters per second. And that's 20 degrees to the horizontal. So I'll put in a different color. So this side is 150 cos 20. And this side here is can do the side words 150 sine 20 so if I take out the calculator 150 cos 20 that's 141 meters per second the three significant figures and then the other side 150 sine 20 uh, 150 sine 20 is 51.3 51.3 meters per second sorry that got a little bit squished there so 51.3 meters per second and 141 meters per second okay uh, resolve the velocity and horizontal vertical components and then finally calculate the magnitude and direction of the velocity of the object after eight seconds so um after eight seconds the horizontal component of the velocity is unchanged it's still 150 cos 20 but the vertical component has changed we can get it using the formula v equals u plus 
8t. T is 8. So that's still going to be the 141. And let's see what the other one will be. That's a negative. It's heading down. Minus 27.1 meters per second. So the magnitude is the square root of each of these squared. Okay. Plus. That works out to be 143.5. So if we're giving our answer to three significant figures, 144 meters per second. That's one part of the answer. And then the direction, we'll have to calculate tan inverse Vy over Vx. Vy. That's minus ten point nine degrees. So in other words, that's downwards at ten point nine degrees. The only thing that annoys me about the belief insert is that there's no clarity or consistency consistency on the significant figures. Um, for example, this is a two significant figure number, this is a one significant figure number, this is a one significant figure number, and this is a two significant figure number. So technically, uh, the answer, all these answers, should only be to one significant figure but that obviously seems wrong and not the intent I don't think that's what they intended here so I'm just going to fall back on giving all answers to three significant figures so um, this was the answer for part three on the left there those two parts and then the answer to part four uh, the magnitude and direction so the magnitude is here and the direction is here. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's that question done. Hopefully there's no mistakes there, but just let me know if there is and I'll fix it up.